One of the things you need to know how to do in Excel, whether it's for the real world at work or for the Microsoft Office Specialist exam, is you have to know how to hide and unhide both rows and columns. Let's begin first at looking at how we hide our columns. So here we have some different columns and I've got them color filled so that way it's pretty obvious when we hide something. So we have column A, B, C, and D. I want to hide column B and it's pretty simple to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select column B and then I'm going to right click on column B. When I right click on it, I am presented down here at the bottom area with hide. I'm going to click hide. Now watch what happens. We have A, B, C, D, right? Watch what happens to B when we click hide. B disappears. Now, if you are taking the exam, you might be asked something along the lines of remove a column or hide a column without changing values or without deleting the column. This is what they're asking you to do. They're asking you to hide the column. Now in the real world, let's say you have no intention of taking the Microsoft Office Specialist exam and you go, why would I need to hide a column or a row? Well, you might need to hide it if you don't want people messing with it, if you need to give your workbook to somebody else and you don't want them screwing around with it, or if it's just information you don't need to filter through on a, on a regular basis. So for example, as a teacher, I might have a grade book where I might want to hide a previous semester, or I might have a student that leaves the classroom, but I still need to maintain and hold on to their grades, but I don't need to keep seeing their grades every day so I could hide that column, that row, without having to continue working with data that I don't need to work with. So that's kind of why you would have to possibly hide this information. Now notice, as we're looking at it, you have A and then you have C and B is missing. You have this kind of double line area here, which is showing you that there's something missing. To unhide it, you also right click on it and then you can go to unhide. There you go. Now, normally it doesn't work that easy. Normally I might have to hit it once or twice. The easiest way to unhide something, let me hide this again, right click and hide. The easiest way to unhide something is also just to select everything. In this case, I'm going to hit control A, which selects everything. And then I can click anywhere in any column and click unhide. And it does the same thing. So that's how we hide a column. I'm going to switch worksheets and now we need to hide a row. And like I did before, I added color to different rows so we could see pretty clearly when we're hiding something. So let me hide row two. Same idea as hiding a column. I'm going to select the row. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go down to hide. Now watch what happens to the yellow row, row number two. It disappears. It's hidden now. But again, we have one and three. So this isn't one, two, two is hidden. And we have that double line right there. I'm going to right click on it and click unhide. And there it goes. And, and believe me, this is unusual. It never usually works this easy to try and unhide something. So if you have a problem in hiding it, again, kind of the bazooka way to unhide everything is to simply right, uh, simply to control A, which selects everything and then right click and go to unhide that way. So that is how you hide and unhide both columns and rows. For even more great tutorials and our complete catalog of online courses, please visit us at mrfordsclass.com.